All right, so for today, we're doing a Filipino recipe. Number one, if you're married to a Filipino, that's a certain requirement. The first one, the first requirement to bring a Filipino from the Philippines to America is rice. You see that rice cooker? Number one, we're actually going to try some of her Asian vegetables. Yes. <laughs> So Asian vegetables, really, a lot of Asian vegetables are really crazy looking. I'm going to yeah. tell you that. But each and every one of them is not like in America. Each and every one of them had, have their own distinctive flavors and taste that you can't compare to something else. So when you ask, what does bitter melon taste like? Genuinely, bitter. <laughs> it's only going to taste like bitter melon. It's not going to taste like anything else. So... While she's preparing that, she's going to show us kind of how she prepared it and what she's using. So, what are you using? So, here go what we got. Of course, we're going to have bitter melon. This is the small one. We're going to use all of those though, right? We are. Okay. But because they are like just small, small. so we can use all of them. And we're going to need tomato. We're just going to use one tomato today and three eggs you can add more eggs if you want but today we're using three and we're going to be needing warm water and the warm water for is we're going to soak the bitter melon in there in the water and uh before we put the bitter melon in there we're going to put the salt of course i'm going to do it now so you would know this is just warm water with salt you can put as much as you want you but don't put too much not not no one quart not no Trust just me. sprinkle some it's not gonna there. take the bitterness out she probably about to tell y'all that it's not gonna take the bitterness yes, out yes a little bit <laughs> you see i told you she was gonna lie to y'all no. she's not taking no bitterness out what's up what's next so next is we're gonna add some uh, black pepper and then of course we're gonna need the uh, salt to uh like season it a little bit later but we don't need too much salt later because we already soak it with mm -hmm. the salt and water. And we can add any kind of seasoning yes. though, right? So let's start it. Not what she yes. likes. You can also put you can also add like uh, garlic, onion, and we're gonna move this first. So we're gonna cut it like mm -hmm. circles. Alright. You're gonna cut it circles or you can just cut the tip both tips and you can cut it in the middle so you would see what they have like inside which is like you can see the seeds which is these seeds can be planted again if you want you can just throw it in your so we don't use the inside you don't use the inside just the outs like this oh. so really see. the pill Boom. like that and you can just chop this like this yeah. uh, you can make it thin because the thinner the better don't make it too thick so you cut this oh. and you can also eat this we, we also make a bit of melon salad just by itself you can eat it just like that <laughs> but I'll tell you it is really bitter so that was not recommended to start. To start with, like to eat it raw. One thing that I actually noticed about eating these foods, because I remember when I first started eating them, it was like, uh-uh, no, get it, get it away from me. It takes time to get used to the, food. the taste. So if you're American or, I don't know, maybe Indian or Mexican, you're going to like those foods that you like. Um, one thing I find about bitter melon or any kind of Asian food is if you're married to the person from that area, then you basically got to kind of get in line. So if you're married to a Mexican man or woman, you're probably going to be eating a lot of salsa type thing. Mm -hmm. If you're married to, I'm sure, like a, a Indian or Arabic woman or man, it'll be the same thing. So with Asian girls, it's lots of rice. That's all you need. Let me stop. <laughs> What's the the bitter melon story? Is the the queen was mad or something? Yeah. That was. <laughs> what I think it is? Tell us what it is. A 
oh the late the uh it was like uh all of them like like all the fruit and she was uh jealous about everything like she was saying she was the best and everything and then all the all the uh taste of every oh the fruit itself fruit. the bitter yeah. melon is like it was a person yes it wasn't and she thought she was the best fruit of them all she looked so good she wasn't regularly used to be but because oh. she was become so mean and everything then that's how her skin oh. become bitter i mean her uh she looked like that because she was you know saying she was the best she was she was being mean to all different kinds of vegetables so all the blend of the vegetables got into her and then it became bitter oh wow that's how she turns to bitter melon bitter vegetable. and wrinkly and yeah so if you start off as a pretty girl yeah. that means don't have an attitude right, uh, <laughs> right. all y'all pretty filipinas pretty american women and pretty women all over the world if you're beautiful don't have an attitude then you won't wind up looking <laughs> like an old bitter melon right. that's what happened <laughs> We done with all the bitter melon, so we will go and keep it, like put it, uh, soak it in the water for at least ten minutes, um, so it will get a little bit of the bitterness gonna soak in the water. So while we're doing that, we're gonna chop this tomato, and we're gonna do the egg, beat the egg. It is <laughs> all right, red. All right, so right. ten minutes after she's finished, ten minutes in the water. And then she's preparing her tomatoes. You're gonna add that inside of it? Yeah, we're gonna do this first. Like, we're gonna saute the tomatoes, then we're gonna put the bitter melon. Bitter melon. Wow. Then the last one we're gonna put is the egg. Let's go try to cook this. Bitter melon? Yeah. I think, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no, no. She's not giving nobody no credit. I don't know. Grandma, I don't she's think, not giving Maybe you my no mom, credit. like, because I'll be watching, like, my mom, what, like, cook food before. When she was still alive, when I, you know, just watching her and everything, that's probably, I learned the cooking, basic, basic cooking and stuff. So you didn't actually know bitter melon was nasty because you were eating it too long. Yeah, this, baby. yeah, I mean, because this is one of my favorite vegetables. I don't know when I start, probably when I start eating it, I don't like it. But as soon as, like, you know, I I'm keep sure eating it and stuff. One year, probably about one year ago eating bitter melon. Maybe so. Oh, that's why she loved it. Because this is my favorite uh, vegetable. I don't know why it's bitter to somebody, but to me, it's bitter. nothing. Yeah. It's bitter, but she still likes it. <laughs> yeah. so. It's nothing like, you know, maybe because you already like the blend on your mouth, it just don't matter no more because <laughs> you've been mm -hmm. eating it, you know. And then after I chop the uh, tomatoes, I'm going to move on to the, I'm going to close it right quick before I cut my hand. Um, I'm gonna move on to the egg, which is like I got another egg uh, and thing over here. I got another bowl. So what I'm gonna do is just you know beat, crack, crack the, the egg. egg and then and then you just stir this. Hmm. So we were actually able to grow this whole meal mm -hmm. besides the salt, pepper, and butter because we don't have cows and everything. So. Yes. I think that's a cool thing. And if you don't like, you know, uh, you know, using salt or anything, you might probably can use lime because lime mm -hmm. will make it salty. Oh, and we do yeah. have lime outside too. So that's yes. a good idea. Looks good. Looks really good. Yeah, like that. And then after you beat that and all, we're going to warm some, of, like we're going to warm our uh, pot while we're waiting for that. And then we're going to saute the, of course, the tomato first. And then we're going to add the bitter melon and the egg. Just Sounds simple. Good. So let's get to it. So we put the butter now. We will, what next is we're going to put the tomatoes. So what about one fourth teaspoon of butter? Yeah, one fourth of teaspoon of butter. Then we're going to put these tomatoes. Mm. Yum. And I got this to serve it. We gotta keep serving this now because once we put the bitter melon in here, 
you don't have to keep stirring it because that's more make more bitter uh, bitter when you keep stirring the bitter melon. Oh. So that's one thing. That's my secret. So basically, <laughs> don't move it around too much. Yes. So now I'm going to put the bitter melon on it uh, in our pot. But first, I'm going to squeeze like you know. Once you do this, like you just gotta squeeze a little bit. I'm a little closer. A little you just closer. have to squeeze, as you can see, it's t the water is turning green a little bit, and that's what we wanted. You just have to squeeze a little bit of the bitterness, of course. Mm. So the salt water, we're not using the salt water, just using it to draw some of the yes. bitterness out. Mm. Then we gotta squeeze the rest of it out. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is take some, uh, you know, take this little melon and put it in the pan. But I squeeze it before I put it in there to make the bitterness go away a little bit. If a Filipino cook was right now speaking in mm -hmm. Tagalog or in a kind of, what would that cook be saying right now? Say, I'm playa, that, uh, I'm cooking, I'm playa. A bit of melon, and I'm um, squeezing our juice in English. No, I'm getting a katas ng ampalaya. Do you speak in our language? Bago ilagay dito sa pan, and tapos kunin lang natin lahat yung ampalaya. I forgot. I asked, what would a Filipino cook be doing? I forgot. She's not Filipino anymore. Oh, stop. I forgot she lost her Filipino citizenship. Don't tell them that. <laughs> so actually, that. she's one hundred percent American bells now. No. Living with American bells, no more Filipino bells. Okay. That's why she she can't even remember how to speak to y'all like half the time. Tell them. I put the the little melon in the no. Tell them. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stir this once. That was hold on. Let me put the um before I serve. I'm gonna put the the seasoning on it. Just once I put uh you know serve this, I'm not gonna serve again. So or I'll do it twice. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the uh you know black pepper now. And then I'm gonna put the salt. Don't put too much. Just sprinkle salt and then stir. Then we're going to put the top of this pan. Okay? Just kind of mix it in a little bit. Yes. And then that's it. And then when this thing is done, you got to just put the top. So we're not moving it anymore. Yes. Leave it like that and put the top on. So alright guys, we got the top on, so we're just going to uh, wait for 10 minutes and this dish is done. So we're going to time it like it's 12 right now and I'm in 12 already, so that's about 12, 18. We're going to take this out and we're going to eat. So alright guys, so it's been 5 minutes in here. Now we're going to put the egg uh, into our bitter melon. And then we're going to wait another five minutes and then our dish is going to be done. So let's get the egg. Alright guys, so I forgot that we have to uh, put this in here. And then of course we need to stir it to uh, get all this egg mixed all the way into our, uh, you know, bitter melon. This, because we're adding the egg, we had to stir. But without the egg, we don't have to stir. See? It's already cooking. Alright, guys. So now we're going to put the top back in for another 5 minutes. And it's going to be done. It's done, guys. 
Sorry guys, so it's done. As you can see, our egg and everything is done. And it's ready, so we can serve it. Since She'll get a plate. You got black and white, black, I mean, black and orange, I got color. You got to have the rice. I got the rice. I did get that out of the rice cooker. So, we're going to sit. Our uh, Yunisang Ampalaya or Tortang Ampalaya. So, yes. Alright, so looks good. Yes. Looks good. Let me tell you. So, <laughs> if, if you like, it looks good. It looks amazing. Yes. And you can also um, taste. And, uh, like, if you want, also, you like. Instead, if you don't like uh, cooking egg and stuff, you can also make like ampalaya with beef or oh. bitter melon with beef or with ground beef, with turkey, ground turkey. You can also add like, you know, uh, chicken and stuff if you want meat aside from egg. Let's get so, to the... <laughs> if you want a healthy relationship... You're gonna eat together. <laughs> you just gotta try that stuff. Even if you really don't like it. Yes. Eat some of it anyway. So they can feel like they're at home and their family is eating with them. And they don't feel like ostracized. That they're eating alone all the time. It's nasty Asian food. <laughs> it's not nasty. <laughs> <laughs> only some of it, only this bitter stuff. Yes. But the actual one that we have, the bitter melon, well, she's mixed it, so some of them's going to be bitter. The one that yeah. we actually been growing for the last couple of years isn't actually that yeah. bitter, but the ones from the Asian stores are, are super bitter. But you can tell which one is ours, because the, this one, like, this is the long ones, and ours is this one, like, with the different. Really, actually, what? Not much bitterness, not much flavor. As far as you can taste that it's a bitter vegetable, but it's not like overpowering bitter. Yeah. And basically, I think that's because of the egg. Really, the egg actually does help take some of the bitterness too. And the tomato. Oh. Um, yes. It's good. <laughs> Real crunchy and fresh. Oh yeah, I remember Ariana used to eat this bit of melon raw. Sure do. She picked one out of her uh, garden, but it was like um, what is it like? It's it's the compost, right? And they were just growing on the side, so she picked it and eat it. Like she was like eating it, and we was just looking, watching her eating it, and she had no reaction to it, like. Come on, oh, it's good. Yeah, oh, it's good. She was like, keep saying it's good, but. Like, oh my God, girl. I yeah. know that ain't good. She was like, oh, it's good. It's good. I guess because it's not bitter. Like, really. I bitter. wonder what she eat it raw now, now that she's older and not like two, three years old. I know. I, eat, let her eat, I let her eat the one before I cook it the other day, the one that I have. I let her taste it, and she was really eating it. Mm. She like the rest of them don't like of course because it, <laughs> they don't like it. But you cook them some moringa and stuff, they like it. Mostly a lot of people like a lot of Asian people like eat their stuff with soy sauce and um calamundi. Lemon sea sauce. Let's make it. We all my family eating that one. Twelve twenty in the morning, and we're eating rice. <laughs> oh my gosh! So we can use the the lime. Yeah, we can do. This is bomb. It's spicy. 
And this is Tabasco pepper. Tabasco pepper. And I'll be making that like Tabasco pepper, putting some vinegar on it. That was good. Tabasco, lemon, and soy sauce. Yes. Let me see. Definitely changes. What it changes like the taste, right? It's like a little bit. It's like black people like gravy, so it's kind of like gravy. putting a little bit more gravy onto it. Yeah. It's not as dry, but kind of like rice. It's like you gotta give that rice some flavor almost. That's what the soy sauce kind of does. I like it. Oh, I like bitter melon lips too. But the bitter melon lips is more bitter than the fruit. Oh, yeah. It is. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> so that's why when uh, I've been making, like, when I'm picking up some um, bitter melon leaves, I eat it by myself or I let him taste one or two. <laughs> and you know, like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> but. You like the peel, the peel, like you know when you're making the powdered um, bitter melon leaves, it's good. Then you can't taste it. Yeah. So that's it guys, so thank you all for watching today, hope you all enjoyed the bitter melon leaves that I did, bitter bit, and it's so simple, hope you all try it.